hello and welcome to my channel well today i'm going to show you guys how anti-drain anti-drain back valve works it does two functions one as it states for and there's another function so let me show you a few details then i'm going to show you how it actually works so we're going to use this frame to show you how it works actually What's interesting about this frame, if you, this is the cheapest uh, oil filter actually brand out of our store that I could find. I was kind of shocked when I saw the prices on oil filters. Uh, it, it's, it's crazy how much prices went up on, on a regular filters. It's regular filter now, it's pretty much a price of premium filters that I buy. So what's interesting, the frame filter is the cheapest filter. It was like 599 plus tax but it didn't matter if it's the small or big or even for like you know double size of this like for commons engine or something but what surprised me the most there's extra plastic here and then there is this thing this uh whatever this thing is sticking out threads which is i never seen before on, on any oil filters usually it's this type of filters i don't know from which vehicle if you know drop me a comment i would love to know for which who requires this type of a design you know very strange to me however let's go back so we have this ford motorcraft we're going to use as an example with cut open so how it works the anti-drain valve how how the filter works you have this is the output this is the input oil enters through here and comes out through here filtered when oil is hot when oil is cold it's being bypassed because it's too thick to pass through the media so basically it's the rubber valve that prevents it from prevents it from anti-draining prevents oil from draining back but does it works and how well does it work so let's find out so we're going to use this filter let's see if you can see it or not the filter it's it's dry there is no oil or anything not a bit as you can see it's all clean so we're going to fill it up until it no longer coming out Let's see if we can do it without spilling it. Well, the filter media is absorbing. I want you guys to see something. We're going to find out how... See? It's interesting. So we made this test rig. We're going to find out. Well, there's a good reason why some car manufacturers say that if you replace the filter, when you put in your filter, make sure you add oil. See right there, the oil level starts coming up. How how sweet is that? How often do you see an oil filter actually? So we're gonna fill it up until it's full and we're gonna test the anti-drain back valve. Okay. Anti-drain back valve prevents oil from going further. Why? Well, because it's a it's an o-ring so it needs pressure so it needs pressure to overcome the the o-ring the anti-drain valve so as you can see that's it the filter is no longer accepting the oil however it's now in full interesting as you can see the oil level the oil is there we have oil here and filter is not full so we have an air problem there is an air prevention so now we're gonna flip the filter over and we're gonna talk more and i'm gonna show you more and explain to you more the details of how anti-drain back valve works if the anti-drain back valve works then we should not see much of an oil escaping the filter so as you can see using this it's about three quarter max full as you can see right there top top of the oil filter the oil is there it's not going anywhere so now we're gonna use this container which is it's empty and we're gonna see how much oil we collect if the anti-drain back valve works we should not see much of oil escaping Well, let's see how much oil is already in the pan. 
Oh, that's a good bit of oil. Let's see how much oil is. Let me see the level. Oh, well, we can see the. It's still full. It's to prevent oil from draining back, but as you can see, the oil is still draining. It's not doing the work. It's not. It's working, but it's not working well. Because where you see the oil is coming from? It's coming from the center hole. Center hole. The, the way it's, true, it's a return. It's a return hole, but filter, it's, it's still it's come, uh, going through filter media and escaping through the center hole. As you can see, the oil level is dropping. Now we can see. So now it's about half of the filter got drained. As you can see, now it's going to the filter media. It's sipping through. As you can see, the oil level is dropping. And we're talking about not minutes, we're talking about seconds, you see. See the oil is dropping the level because it's not perfect. So one function, like I said, is to prevent oil from draining back. Second functionality, if you have any particles that came through, came through here, up, and now they're stuck here. It will prevent them from going back into the system. Now they're going to be trapped on the outside of filter media. So that's the two, uh, two functionality of anti-drain back valve. But does it work as it's designed? It works to some extent, but it does not prevent 100% of oil from draining back. As you can see. Now it's dripping. So we'll have about half of the filter drained. <clears throat> to prevent starvation of cold engines, there is a reason why car manufacturers don't place cartridge style oil filters upside down. It's either like this. Some I have seen 2.0 Nissan Sentra back in the days, they had it installed like this. And actually I'm thinking right now, thinking, if I'm not mistaken, Subaru, has them like this upside down actually if i'm not mistaken i'm not a subaru guy but i'm sure subaru people will comment most of the car manufacturers it's either this way or that way and some always put it like this with this up it then it means oil is always the filter is always full of oil the purpose of anti-drain back valve, well, then it's it's not really doing its job anymore. It becomes like a more restriction because no oil is going to escape from this filter unless you flip it over. Once the engine is turned off, that's it. Oil filter is full. And then if, if anything more, any draining oilage, it's going to fill it up filter even further. So, so that's how it works. So as you can see, filter media is, it's dripping. It's allowing for the oil to escape, but anti-drain valve is doing its job. It's not doing 100%, but it's doing its job. It's preventing all of the oil. And keep in mind, it's the oil is cold. When the oil is hot, you know, 180, 200 degrees, it will be running like a water with no problem, draining the filter. But because the oil is colder, thicker, it's still dripping. So we'll give five more minutes and we'll find out how well it's doing its job and we'll come back. So half an hour later, oil is dripping. As you can see, slowly, 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 but it's dripping. So it means the, the, the anti-drain back valve works, but it doesn't work 100%. It's slowly because the, if oil passes through media and drains back through the return hole. So if you have a filter that is on angle, expect for the oil to drain off most of it, or yes, in two, three days, if you're not driving, and if it's on slight angle, it will drain off faster. And if you're oil filter upside down like this, guarantee to, to not have any oil in very short time. So that's pretty much it. You know, 
And if you have questions, drop me a comment. So I want to thank you for watching and have an awesome day.